<laughs> you have to do okay okay now we are live hey we are hey. live what's up what's up jerry we are live it is since from the shy I guess we could let people come in for a minute or two as we talk what's up man how's life been treating you well it's been good i can't complain okay just been you know doing the normal doing the the shopping around been getting a lot of samples so um really working on trying to trying to smell some things that i haven't smelled before mm -hmm. so what about you what you been up to see you know the sample thing is good however yeah. i don't do it well you know it's like i oh, get yeah. samples and then it's like they sit here so i am trying to do better i i was doing a i had a little almost process i was doing and right. but that hasn't really gone over well. So I'm trying to get back to it. And I, I ask people, please don't send me no more samples. But I think somebody else <laughs> is sending me some samples. Because, like, Faith sent me all of the uh, Carolina Herrera confidential line. Okay. I'm like, no! Because, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because now I got to try right. them. And then I got to report back on them. And then right, of course. D'Angelo on my birthday sent me um, the unique collection unique whatever oh unique a yeah mm -hmm. unique a yep. he sent me that so now i need to go through those and then there's other stuff that you know it's like matter of fact i went through my samples just recently like i was just kind of going through them and it yeah. was real it was like really interesting seeing things that i have samples of that i've been like oh i want to try that thinking that i want to try it or it's like on my radar and it's like yep. oh you've had this shit around here for <laughs> over a year you could have tried it. You know what I'm right, right, <laughs> right. Because like I have literally, you know, from you, not necessarily you, but like other people sending me. Helen sent me stuff. All these people yeah. sent me stuff over the like y last year, and it's just sitting here. Yeah, it's just all sitting I, here. You hey, should, Rochelle, you how are you? Hey, I think Cheryl's in here too. I see. Okay, hey, Cheryl, yeah. How you doing? She said she hoped she could join us. You right, trying to join us she here? Here? Um, right, right. I don't know if she here or not. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, okay. All okay. right. So, yeah. So, that's my sample dilemma. Because okay. I really want to do the sampling. Because, you know, we always say, you should sample everything. You should try to sample. But yeah. the whole sampling thing. I do it. And I bought a, a journal. I bought the little perfume journal. So, I oh, could wow. write my little notes. And, I'm telling you, I'm trying to do the shit right <laughs> Now is it okay. happening? You know, no you know problem. we Aries. You know we Aries. So you know we'll have all of the intentions of doing some shit, and then we don't do right. it. Right. Oh, of course, of course. I I think I have so many things that I keep saying that I'm gonna do, and I never ever do it. I, know, I am working on that. So like, this is the first full day of my summer vacation. Yes. Congratulations. <sighs> we don't have that yet. You know, we got the bootleg version of the of the uh of this. So we don't yeah, get pay more than me. See, that's a, there, there's the, the right. offset. You bank more money <laughs> and you don't have to do, and you don't need six, seven weeks off like I do. I need it off after dealing with them damn badass kids. Whew, <laughs> And let me tell you, there's something new about these kids. I don't know if it's at every school, but yeah. at our school, these kids act like they don't ever want to leave. Oh, really? I thought they always trying to get out the door. Now they want to stay. Listen to ah. me. Every day we have to push these kids out. Get out. I mean, like, yeah, literally, we have to push them out. So, like, the last, not this week, but last week we did, like, this um short day right and we did right. a staggered dismissal so it was like the 11th graders leave and stuff right mm -hmm. and and then we gave them it was like 10 minutes they had to be out the building and we was gonna let them do you know we had to fight with them it was literally really? like we would have we were standing in the hallways people like no you cannot go past this turn around go to this exit and they were argue want to argue and try to come up with a reason to stay in the building it is so amazing uh, to me it's bizarre because i know i ran out of school every time i could but Did you know you what though times so remember back in the day when like there were certain gangs different things like that that you had to worry about is that something that they have to worry about? You know, those, that's kind of like a big question. Are they? 
Well, I know everybody right, thinks that, but no, no, I don't think that's what it is. I, I okay. what I have given it is we're not a neighborhood school, so the kids are okay. coming from different places. So I'm I'm yeah. thinking maybe it's because they don't all live in the neighborhood. Because you know, like if you all the kids that I went to high school with, we lived around each other. So when we left school, we would see each other and everything. But right. I don't know. Maybe it's because of that. Cause that's the only thing I can come up with. Cause I mean, these kids will stay in school. They will literally be there. School get out at three fifteen, three oh five. They there for an hour, and then they're sitting outside wow. the school. So I think that's part of our school thing is that they don't all live around each other. It's not a neighborhood school. Okay, I get that. I definitely. And I'm that. so glad. <laughs> yeah, I bet you. <laughs> Wait a minute, my so we boss. Gonna, we gonna, we wait, my be boss gave lot, me a. Right? Uh huh. My boss gave me a book. I was like, "Do I have to read this?" She was like, "Well, no. We just, you know, I thought this would be good reading over the summer." I said, <laughs> "Okay." <laughs> you should ask her for the cliff notes. I don't even want that because yeah. I ain't gonna read that shit either. Is so, it a movie? <laughs> right, right, right. Okay, so what's your center today, Jerry? Everybody starting to come in. We got people in here. Everybody needs to say hello. Okay. How are you? I see Rochelle. I see Faith. I see Chantel. Yep, Chantel. That's all I see, but I see it's 14, 15 people. Y'all can say hello so we know y'all here. I'm going to look in the camera <laughs> so y'all can see. I'm talking to y'all. Right. She here. had to look straight in the camera. Because <laughs> I try to you so, know, make sure like when I'm just talking, I look at the camera. And then when I'm listening <laughs> to you or reading the Right. No, I get it. I'm I'm doing the same thing that you're doing. So today was was such a beautifully rainy day. Rainy days are like my favorite types of days. Um, so I picked something that kind of gave me that feel. It was like the um it was like the feel and smell of something that was like wet sand, which is so weird, but uh I picked black cliffs. Uh, black sand. That was my sin of the day. You just um, like it because of that old look like a rock mess. Look like <laughs> a rock, smell like sand. Come on. Hey, Mark. No, you know what? There, this fragrance to me is is so indicative of being on a beach and like the water hits the sand. And that's kind of what you're smelling a little bit to me. There's a little bit of aquatics. There is a, a sandy smell to it. It's really beautiful to me. For some other people, it may be a bit off-putting, but I think it's very beautiful. It's very, very nice. It's mixed very well as, you know, also. So, so we got new people that's what came I wore in. Today. So I put this on after I Mark left the gym. In. It was about 2 o'clock. So... Okay, so what did I wear? Yeah. Mark came in, Valencia. Yeah, the rock is really, really nice. It's very beautiful. I um, I was gonna ask you what you were gonna wear, but I wanted to show a little bit more of my uh bottle. Okay, it's really pretty. Okay, I see your Let bottle. Talk I about see bottle. I see it. Jesus. But you know what? Sometimes Lulu, what did you wear today? Wait a minute, but let's just talk. <laughs> Sometimes the bottle, you know, okay. it is beautiful. So let me see it again. Because I, you know, okay. bottles can be very, that's part of it. Like some sometimes people like the minimal, but sometimes you want something that's just really just interesting and pretty and gorgeous on your um, you know, to have on your well, you ain't got vanity on your dresser. Right. Ooh. Ooh. So, you know, it has like this back part that has the crack in it. Some people don't like that, but it's kind of cool. You can actually see the fragrance in the back. I like so. the crack because it makes it look more like authentic. You like it? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I okay. like it. Okay. Okay. So what did I wear? Now, you said that it was rainy days makes you want to wear stuff like that. Rainy days for me is just like kind of like chill. I was I was gonna go out, but then I was like, mm, um, huh? Okay, I'm sorry. I was looking at something, you know. So I'm just like sitting around the house and everything. Now I do have this thing I'm trying to do, which is called my fragrance, my signature fragrance of the month, because I'm just trying to see can I use okay. something a lot more than I normally do? Because you know I tend to like be all over the place. 
Um, and so right. this way I can actually see, can I put a dent in something? Because you know, everybody be talking about dents and how they using up shit. I got a thing about this. Right. So I've been trying to see how I can do. So this is my fragrance of the month, which is Elisab Le Parfum Rose Couture. Just a simple kind mm -hmm. of watery rose, right? But mm -hmm. then I did this on top of it, which is La Petite Rome Noir hippie chic so this is like got a cherry vibe to it but it's more of a lightweight kind of summer cherry this is my summer cherry because you know how like cherries can be really heavy and stuff this is a, yeah. a lighter weight one so i wore these together because i wanted to have like a cherry rose vibe going on so that's what i was wanting uh, to do. okay i was trying to be extra i i get it we are typically extra and i was trying I to think, I was and i was thinking what would jerry what would jerry wear Jerry wore four fragrances yesterday, so he was trying to like be good and wear just one. So, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah, I was mixing too much yesterday. <laughs> so, what we're talking about today is we're going to talk about the seduction list. That's what I, I called it. Was the seduction list? I was trying yeah. to figure out how was what we're going to call it, but. These are the things that we think are sexy on us to other people. Yep. Okay. We have a new person, Golden Light 83. Do you know that person? Hey, Golden Light 83. Do you know him? Is this hey. somebody? So this I... is somebody new, I think. Okay, well, come know. on in. But hey. Because, you know, we had to say that. Yep. Wait, you know what I'm saying? So you wore four. Now, did you wear four throughout the day or did you wear four together? Did you layer? Together. Together. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> we're four together. <laughs> oh snap! Yeah, I was. Oh, you was you was killing them. I I kind of was the whole. I mean, you know, you talk about certain fragrances that you layer to like give you that longevity throughout the day, especially if you're walking around and you you want to get different smells within different areas. That's what. So I you were stunting on the bros, huh? That's what I'm talking about. Stunting on the bros. You were stunting on the bros. <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. Oh, yep. okay. so before we even get started, what were you wearing? So I wore um I wore uh Kira Kakuma. I wore um, which is, you know, a leathery scent. Then I also wore, I did, I got, I got a lot of compliments yesterday. Um, so I wore Cure Kakuma. I wore, um, what is that? Uh, there's another leather iris fragrance that I wore that I'm trying to remember the name of it, but I could go grab them all really quick. Let me, let me do that for y'all. I'm going to go grab you, them all. Wait, wait, I, you uh, got, are we going to see them grace, them grace no, weapons? He was... I ran away from you. <laughs> we had a whole conversation. He said he had gray sweatpants. I think he just trying to be sexy. You know, he he trying to get out his inner sexy god with them uh hot birdie with his uh gray sweatpants. So I'm just saying. I'm just saying, okay. Now y'all. We trying to go for an hour because we say we tend to go over. We're gonna see. I don't think we're gonna do just an hour, but we'll see. Nope, I'm gonna slide in. You're not gonna see it. <laughs> you gonna slide in with them gray sweatpants? So. Uh -huh. <laughs> Look at that! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Heard you. I heard everything you said. <laughs> I slid in. Hold on. Got to fix my seat because I showed jumped in this seat. All right. No, it doesn't mean 40 sprays. Right, of course. So I wore Mojave Ghost. Okay. I wore. Hey, put that Mojave Ghost afternoon. up again. Let me see something. Sure. How long you, you know had that thing? It looked like, it looked like that thing looked like it's a, it's a, it's a fake. <laughs> What's up it's not. Label? I've had What's this for so label? long. What? This was actually the, the do you know, this, this is the first Byredo fragrance that I purchased ever um, when I was in, I was in Florida 
and uh, I purchased this one at Bloomingdale's the first okay. time I ever saw this. Yeah. So it's not a fake. It's just, it's just, just jacked gonna, up. <laughs> I know it's not a fake, Jerry. Right. You I know right where... now you about to say you had about a thousand dollars worth of fragrances on you yesterday. Let me hear about no, it. I mean, I mean, Affinescence Cure Kakuma is a very expensive fragrance. That's what I said. You had at least a thousand dollars on you. Then I wore Iris Molokov from Mason okay. Belly. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And then, okay, so yeah, you're right. I show sure was because I wore Gaiac. I knew you had at least a thousand dollars on your ass. Yeah, I knew if, I it sure wasn't, I did. if it, you wouldn't be Jerry if you didn't have about a thousand dollars worth of fragrances on your ass. Come I on had now. A thousand dollars. I had, yeah, you're right. I had a thousand dollars on me yesterday. I was, whew. I mean, and you talking Cutting about oh, everybody was like, wait, what are you wearing? People were trying to guess what I was wearing. And I was like, you won't guess it. <laughs> Where were you at where you were stunting on the bros? I went to the mall. <laughs> I went to the mall and I was I what was, was you at Oprah? No, I went to uh Whitfield. <laughs> oh, okay. I um uh okay, I'm about to layer these. What are the other two? Which uh which ones didn't you see? So Iris Malakov from Maison Crivelli. This one is a beautiful iris and leather. <sighs> do you like Iris Prima by Penhaligans? Because that's the iris and leather. Better. Okay. This is, this is better. Um, Mojave Ghost with my jacked up lettering. Because <laughs> it's peeling. Because it's old. Saying, I'm just saying. Look how much of a dent I put in this. Not really. I'm just letting you know how much I really wear it. But I like when I wore it, I was like, wow, I put a big dent in this one. Cure Curcuma. This is so gorgeous. I love this fragrance. Um, probably one of the best leather fragrances I've ever smelled. It smells like a new car. Okay. And then Gaiac 10. This is from Leila Bo. So this you is love a city Yeah. Yep, and I got it in 2019. Okay, so yeah. what makes something sexy when you smell it on a woman? Say that one more time. You you kind of cut out a, a bit. I did. What makes something sexy? Right? Yeah. What yeah. when you when you smell something? What what do you feel is sexy on a woman? I think musk are very sexy on a woman as far as a note is concerned um or something that matches that woman's like um uh, i guess her attitude the way she walks like if she looks like a bad bitch and she's wearing something that she should be wearing something that's like that's a bad bitch so she needs to be wearing a bad bitch fragrance so it needs to be it needs to have punch. It needs to be sparkly. It has to have some sweetness to it. It has to be, I don't know. It just has to have this, it has to have this feel overall that makes her look even better. It gives her conf confidence. So that's, okay. that's kind of what I'm... So, so it has to, so it's also about her vibe too. Definitely her vibe, a hundred percent. If her vibe is not like, if her vibe is not like she's cool, confident, you know, she's not, blah, 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 you know what I mean? Like, she's not acting crazy or trying to kill you or something like that. I mean. <laughs> well, what about if she's kind of quiet and shy, but you smell something just like, ooh, you know, you don't get that from it either? Yeah, I think, okay, so somebody who's really shy that's quiet, if it's kind of sweet and seductive, so something that has like a, a soft sweetness that has a sillage that's like, for instance, if somebody quiet was wearing this, it would, it would immediately bring me to them because I would be like, oh my gosh, you smell like what you look like, sweet, soft, beautiful. And there's probably a little bit of seductiveness. Okay. Okay. 
what about what about for you for a man what what does a man have to wear to get your head to turn i tend toward like spicy a lot okay. of spicy things you know make me go ooh um and i think now i'm a little different like i i'm open to other things um mm -hmm. like um so i would love to smell some men in like a nice incensey sexy rose Okay. Or something like that. So I think now I'm a little more open to different types of scents. But okay. it used to be like kind of fresh, kind of spicy. You know, those classic kind of vibes. But now I'm into smelling different things on men. So like I could right. go with like something that's very um, sweet on a man. That's, you know, kind of sweet and spicy or something. So you got right. a question. So before we get started. Oops, nope, this one. <laughs> Yes, so I definitely consider Iris Malakov and Kirkakuma uh, unisex fragrances. I think a woman could pull that off so well. I think she would be a boss. Um, that's somebody who is very confident. Um, you know that she's wearing like a power skirt or she's wearing a power suit overall going to a meeting. She is a bad woman. That is the type of woman that wears Iris Malakov and Kira Kakuma. Okay, so we got some more people in. Hello, everybody coming in. Okay, so I'm a I, I'm a lady. I'm going first. I'm gonna try one of your of first. Of course, ones. of okay. course, you're gonna go first. I'm now, definitely interested to know what you think about these. Okay, so I'm going to like just pull them. I'm not gonna go like look for the exact number. That's okay. okay. Just you tell yeah, me just the, tell number. You the number, right? Okay. Yes. Exactly. As long as it ain't Gooman. We all good. It, I mean, it's nothing wrong with Gooman. Oh my gosh, <laughs> y'all! She clowns me about Gooman. <laughs> Jerry <laughs> think that's the sexiest thing. <sighs> but I'm sorry. Wasn't that the first time we we did this? The very first yes, time it we was met. The first and time we did this, and you was like, "Ooh, this smells so good," and I was like, "I uh, know." Right. Hey, Courtney. Hi, Courtney. Hi, Shruti. Hi, Ms. Madam. Hi, all you wonderful. So this is number four. So this number is number four. four. Okay. Okay. Let me see what number four is. Okay. All right. Okay. Let us, okay. I'm waving it off a little bit. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, I like this. Okay. I like this one. Hold on, let me say a few things before you get. No, look at no, y'all no, excited, y'all, because I, I said, said I like okay. it. I was excited. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, <laughs> I got excited. I'm like, oh, okay, I'm like okay. on the edge of my pants. Like you know, when somebody tries your food for the first time, you like, <laughs> does she like it? You know, I'm sweating bullets over here. <laughs> yeah. I okay. Yeah, I can smell this on a man and be like, okay, hey, Danny, hey. It's got a little um ambery kind of vibe to it. Okay. Kind of, I knew it was gonna be sweet because it's your shit. Because of you course, know, everything's gonna be gourmandish. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so tell me what this is. Okay, so this one is from Zaharoff, and this is of the Immortals. Oh, well, you know what? I should have known this because I smelled it. This is uh, this yeah, is I want it. I want favorite. it. You you have to get it. It is so beautiful because it's not only sweet, but it's boozy. And the booziness and the sweetness together give it this, this really sexy smell overall. And every single time I wear this fragrance, I literally get a compliment. I'm talking about every single time. You know, I was waiting for you to say that, right? You see, I was every time. To I'm talking, me. And not and not in booty shorts either. At the no gym. booty shorts, but you got on gray sweatpants. How many times you had on gray sweat sweatpants wearing those? Don't worry about that. Exactly. Mind exactly. Mind your business. <laughs> 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 all right. All right. <laughs> you pick one of mine. All right. So I think I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with number one. Okay. Okay. Should I spray it on skin or should I spray it on uh, paper? Paper, man, paper. It don't matter how I it smell like on you. It need, it's talking about how it smell I like on you. Just, hey, I'm just, I'm just trying to see. Okay. 
Oh. Okay. I do get a lot of compliments. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. I like so, this. Because he's so, <laughs> he's so shy and introverted. I am. I am very shy and introverted. You know what? I really like this. This actually has a... What is it? It's like powdery. You know what? I don't care what you say. I'm spraying this on me. Finger. There we go. <laughs> It's kind of crazy because I get a little bit of, a, I don't know why, but I get like a little bit of black licorice on my finger, but I don't know why. I don't either, but it, it almost has like a black licorice with cherry type of mix, which is so weird. Um, And then I also get like a little bit of powderiness. I get, I don't know if there's musk in it. What is this? This is Girl of Now Shine by Ely Saab. It has pineapple in it. It has a little pistachio in it. It is um, very, I think it's got to still have, I think this one has almond in it still. Yeah, it's, it has, it's very gourmandy. And I knew you, and I figured you were going to like it because men like this, this scent profile. Because Girl of Now, mm. a lot of men like, and then Girl, I figured Girl of Now Shine. Hmm. Yeah, this is nice. I would buy this. I would I would actually buy this and probably wear it. And I would get compliments. Yeah, I know you would, because I get them too, honey. I get them too. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's very delicious on it's you know, it's got I love it. It's one of it's my favorite of that line. Um because okay. it's kind of got this it's sweet, but it's not like uh, original girl now is really heavy and really heavy, whereas the pineapple gives it a little brightness to this one. See, Courtney agrees with me. She could see why I said licorice, but I think it's because of the pistachio. Um, the mixture of the maybe the pineapple and pistachio give it this like licorice vibe, is what I'm getting. But it's very good. It's very good. All right. All right. Number Let me grab the two. next one. I forgot I wrapped those like that for you. Yes, you did. <laughs> They're very well wrapped. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Of course. All right. So this one is number one. Number one. Hello. Do, 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 do. I know that one by heart. <clears throat> do, 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 do. All right. You should know which one this is. I'm just gonna Man, say don't that. be don't be doing this to me. Because you know I'm terrible. <clears throat> I think I don't think I do, but I don't know. If I can't think of what it is. And you should know what this is. Oh, I kind of do know this one, but I can't place it. Uh-huh. You should. It's kind of got like the citrusy vibe to it. Okay. What is this? Because I know it. You know but it. This is good. This I I like this on a man. What is this? Secret Tris. Oh, see, I wouldn't necessarily know it, know it, because I don't buy no damn. I you know, I ain't got, I ain't got the money that you got. I ain't got your money. I, I ain't got your money. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't fucks with. I don't fucks with. <laughs> fragrance Dubois. I don't. I don't fucks with them because uh -uh. <laughs> so this one, this one is gorgeous on a man and gorgeous on a woman. If you see on the bottle itself, it says poor ohm and it says poor femme. So this one is unisex for those who want something that's absolutely gorgeous, sexy, inviting. It better uh, be for the money. Okay, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Yes, long lasting. <laughs> so I got this on a discount. Thank you very much. Max Aroma had a discount. Shout out to Max Aroma. Max Aroma had a discount. And Max Aroma gave me a really good deal on this fragrance. So yes, this is a $400, $400 plus dollar fragrance. But I didn't pay that. So... <laughs> Did y'all see me do the look away on Jerry on that? Because y'all know I'm not going to say nothing. I'm not going to mess with him and his secret Max Aroma discounts. I'm not going to fuck with <laughs> you today, Jerry. I'm going to let you have it. I'm not going to say you nothing. You can get it too. Look, look. Courtney Everybody can get it too. Courtney is with me. I swear to God. Because you get this. <laughs> at you, yo. Right. I paid. I paid. It was like two and change. 
for it because I think they had a 40% discount or something like that. It was like it was like something crazy. It is it is a secret Jerry discount because nah. Jerry is on their way. I told you you on the whales list. You get no, <laughs> you get something that we don't see, honey. I'm telling you, you on the <laughs> whales list, you know, because they know when you're gonna drop that money, you're gonna drop at least a G. They know you're going to drop a stack. So, yeah, they're going to give you that discount. Come on. Right? <laughs> See, this is what... That's no. what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Everybody agrees with me. We know this is the truth. <laughs> you have to sign up for the text messages. I get text if messages. Go... I get... I, 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 don't play with me. You, they I'm actually have, have one out. List. They, they have right. one out today. They have one. <laughs> Am I on the payroll? I wish. If I was on the payroll, that would be great. But no. I pay for all my stuff. It's just I get those little discounts here and there. He on the list. I'm telling you, there's a whale list. <laughs> I'm telling you, you are on the Max Aroma whale list. I'm sorry. I used to be a bit. You know what I'm talking about? Whale at the casino. You are a whale. Right. You are a whale. Okay. So I get the, I I get the free one. drinks. You they know give what me I the free I'm buffet. a minnow. I'm a minnow. <laughs> you a minnow. Minnow. I get the free buffet, right? You get the free buffet. You, you get, no, you get the cigarettes. Let me tell you something. I worked at you know I used to be a blackjack dealer. You get the free cigarettes. You get the packs of cigarettes wow. when you want them. That's when you know you're doing it. When they just yeah. say cigarettes, which one you want? They come back with your packs. That's what you are. You a whale. Okay, I'm getting those Winston 100s. All right. No, okay. no, no. You get whatever you want, man. Oh, okay. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. We don't get your level. Uh, I'm telling you, there's levels to it, clearly, because we don't get your levels. We don't get your levels. I get okay. that. I All get right, that. go to the okay. next one. Okay, I'm going to number two. Oh, so you're going in straight order. I am. because you are so I have irritating. Now, since you're 10, just start picking out some different numbers, because some of them at, at, at the bottom that I want you to try. Dang, Would you rather me? Because I grab one through six. Do you want me to grab something that's different? Yes. <sighs> go take your gray sweat pants wet ass and go get the other four. <laughs> They're right in front of me, so I don't have oh, to move. Okay, so ah. just, just put your hand in and grab one out. Just put your hand All in. All right, I'm going to grab a different like one. I'm doing. Eight. Is eight okay? That's fine. Eight, eight is okay. I'm going to put two eight. away. I'm not going to use two. I mean, you could do two. I just wanted you to not go in direct no, order. No, I'm not doing. No, not anymore. <laughs> I can't even smoke. Smoking, but they will. Oh let no, me you smoke can smoke in. A, you can smoke, right? It depends on. I think what in Wisconsin you can. Indiana, you can. Mm hmm. So this is number eight. I think it's like heavy jasmine. I don't know. I knew this one you wasn't going to like. <laughs> because remember what Jerry likes. Jerry don't like florals. Jerry does not like a floral. So let me just tell you what it is because I know you hate it. It is narcotic venus. You see the look on his face, ladies? <laughs> right? It is narcotic venus. It is tuberose. It is gorgeous. It is beautiful. <laughs> And it smells good on me. And I get compliments when I wear that one, hunty. Okay. I believe you should have let me go with number two. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you weren't going to like it. <laughs> I knew you weren't going to like it. I didn't like that one, y'all. Okay. Okay. Everybody up in here. <laughs> right? Go and talk about it. No, he's not because he does not like, he don't like florals. <laughs> right. But I sent you stuff that I know that I, you know, will wear. No, and yeah, I can, of course. I I could see you wearing that, and I could see you getting compliments for sure. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's an attitude. You have a certain je ne sais quoi. You have a, an attitude. <laughs> no, that's because the shit smell good. It's see? je ne sais quoi. Because that ain't. Mm mm. Mm mm. No, nah, you know what? Okay, so <clears throat> yeah, no, 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 <laughs> never mind. On to the next like, one. No, no, no. Okay, that's fine. That's I fine. was trying to be nice about it. I could. No, you ain't got to be nice. Be you, because you know if the shit stinks to me, I'm gonna tell you. 
Oh, I know. I know. Just but you like know what? I think you stacked the deck. You went and said, okay, she'll like this one. <laughs> you you did. Oh, this is six. This is six. Because you was like, because I want to hear her mouth. I know what you did. I know what you did. <laughs> you went through it, came up with some that you was like, she ain't going to have nothing to say. She yeah. ain't going to have nothing to say about these. Right. She ain't going to be talking about my stuff. Right now, nope. I can promise you this one I'm not going to like because it smells like cleaner to me. So tuberose, it depends on the fragrance. I don't hate tuberose. I actually like tuberose in some of the Bond Number no. 9 fragrances. I think B9 is a tuberose heavy fragrance, and I really like B9. Hey, D'Angelo. Oh, no. What's up, What D'Angelo? is this? You... This is number <laughs> six. Are you hating on it? Yeah, I don't like this one. It smells like a cleaner. It smells like cleaning fluid. Okay. I'm sorry, no. but it does. <laughs> it's okay. We all have a different... I know, because you know how. You know. So this one is Terra Nova from Michael Malal and... It's a uh, Terra No. Jensen. Terra No. <laughs> <laughs> so Terra Nova smells like um, Bulgari's Tigre. Do you know what that is? No, and I'm glad I don't because they both probably stink to me. No, Tigre is amazing. Um, it is this one is a very high level citrus fragrance that um I believe it has the notes of let me see. Alicia's in agreement with me because this smells like cleaning fluid. This smells like <sighs> this smells like some like lemony Lysol almost. It has a it has bergamot, lemon, leaves, and then golden uh golden lotus, and then it also has violet, sandalwood, and ambroxan. Then it has black amber, patchouli, and tonka bean in it. I'm he I hear you. Hey everybody. Hey me. um. She said it's no Wulong Cha. Um, let me just tell you. No. It's just not, it's not doing it for me. I'm sorry. That's okay. That's all right. That's okay. No, no, but I'm just I mean, being honest with I mean, you. I would not want to smell that on a man because it smells like cleaning fluid. Now, now let me say this. It might smell better on scent, on skin, on a, yeah. on his skin. You know what I'm saying? Because, of course, we know it's all different. But on paper, right. no, it's a Terra No. It's a Terra No. <laughs> Terra No. Terra No. I can't wait to tear your next one up. You just go ahead, come right up. You look me, at your face like this. That's why, that's why you did it, because I know. No, I, I'm man. just telling you. Boy, don't be getting all sensitive now. Hold on, where, don't be getting sensitive over Where's me. number two at? Because I bet it's stank. <laughs> <laughs> the fire is number two. Go number for grand two. number two. I don't care. I'm about to go for number two, because number two probably smells horrible. Put these over here. Stanky fragrance. Hold on. So number two. Look at him getting in his feelings, y'all. He's he's so easy. He's so easy. He get all up in his feelings. Mm -hmm. Spray what? your little. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna spray this extra. I hope it stank. <laughs> mm hmm. Just smell like the bathroom after they put the ice on the. Now I know you lying because <laughs> you're just trying to come up with something now. Quit lying, man. Quit lying. Quit lying. <laughs> You know that shit smell good. You know it smell good. Go and tell the truth. Tell the truth that God loves. <laughs> that the, tell the truth that the little babies and, and the angels listen to. The smell like... Mm, the smell like the cheeseburger grease after you cook it and you try to like scrape right. it off the side. Sure. Sure. <laughs> okay. No, it smell. It's all right. <clears throat> it's all right. What is it? It's it's got a. It's all right. What what is it? Tell me what it is. I can't even guess. Okay. Well, what do you get from it? You know, you're good for telling people what. They, what do you get from it, sir? I get a punch in the throat. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's like a slap up top of the head. <laughs> It smell like it smell like grape Kool Aid mixed with Raid. So like when you such spray Raid on top of grape Kool Aid. You're such a liar. Now you just now you just trying to say something because you mad because I because it was a Terra No. Okay. What? It no, it's no, it's um. 
All right, for real, for real. I'll be for real. <laughs> she told um, the truth over four fifty. Okay, but I think it's closer to seven hundred. Okay, go ahead, go ahead, Alicia. What are you Quit talking lying. about? How many she said she, she said she got four hundred fifty. I know she got about seven hundred. Okay, what? Oh yeah, we in the same range. Well, I got uh, yeah, we're in the same range now. I got around that now. Um, get off of there. So okay, so it's kind of sweet. It has like a, a it has like this kind of mysterious thing about it. Um but I get I don't know why, but I see the color purple when I smell it. So of course, you know, color purple reminds me of grape. So automatically in my mind I'm saying it's grape. I don't have a G. <laughs> she said I got a thousand fragrances. Yeah, you room. do. Okay, so that what is Hundred Silent Ways by Nishane. It's peachy tuberose. How come I don't get that on the paper? I don't know, because I now that I always oh. get compliments on male Hold and on. females. Hold on. There's a hundred silent nose on my skin. And, and <clears throat> I don't I hope it is. I want you. Listen, I don't need you to be trying to run around smelling like a hundred silent ways. So I'm glad it don't <laughs> smell that good on you. It's supposed to smell good on moi. Oh, there we go. Now it smells good on me. It took a minute. Didn't smell right the first time. Now it smells good on me. Okay. All right. Okay, so in this defense, let me let me take Tara no and see how it smells. That was number six, right? Yeah, okay, go ahead. Spray. I'm gonna put it on my skin. Put it on your skin. Spray Terra No on your skin. <laughs> hey, Dre. Because I'm right. Be see, that's the goat. Damn. <laughs> in the air. In the air, it's not that good. I'm telling you. Uh, that's a no. <laughs> Go to the next Sorry, one. I'll try. <laughs> uh, it's okay. It's okay, Valencia. It's okay. It's about to make my eyes water. Okay, let me go to the next one. It's all right. I think that's the reason why I've sprayed it on me before in the store. And I thought it was going to smell better because there were so many reviews on it and how good it was. Didn't hit the mark for me at all. I thought you it was about Tara. No, no. <laughs> I'm talking about. I'm talking about hundred silent nose. A <laughs> uh, hundred hell nose is what it should be called. As it should be for you, because I think they made that for women. I it, it leans very feminine, so it smells good, lovely on us. Because yeah. you see how these women talk about how smell it's how it smells so good, good. And I yeah. promise you, you smell that on me, you would be like, ooh, look what you're wearing. Why? Because it smells so damn good on me. See, it 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 meshes with my feminine energies. Okay. D'Angelo, you're supposed to be on my team. You're not supposed to be helping them. Thank you very much. Right. So <laughs> if she I smell it on woman, I think I would. I'll See, be honest. I think, I think it, I think, um, I think it's a layering fragrance more than anything. So if it was layered with something, I think it would smell amazing. Okay, nope. see? Layered. Got, but that's a man for y'all. For y'all <laughs> should need to layer it. I'm telling you right now. All we got to do is spray on that. And we are a <laughs> goddess of, of good smells. Okay? <laughs> all right, so here we go. This is number three. Okay. Number three. Number three. This smells like pine. Okay. So I'm pine. getting pine. You're getting pine. Okay. I don't know if I want to smell this on a man. I don't really like pine though. It's kind of that whole piney vibe smelling like a forest. I don't really like the forest smell. So it's and it smells, you know what, it, and you know what it smells like to me. Just being real, yeah, it smells like 
you gonna hate me when I say this, so don't get mad when I say this shit. But this is for real. Of course, this smells like your uncle at the bar that comes to the barbecue in this the 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 matching outfit with the socks on. This um smells like this is what you would wear. <laughs> it's kind of got that piney barber shoppy vibe to it. What is this? It's no pine. And there's no barber shop. It's Al Dukan. Well, that's what it smells like to me. And this one is from Regine Dust Floors. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think this one is a is this is this Alberto Mario's? Hold on, let me see who makes this one. I want to see who does this one. One second. Okay. Well, I'm telling you, it smells like pine to me, and it smells like it smells old school to me. It smells like your uncle Dominique Ropion. It smells this like what your Ropion. uncle would wear at the barbecue, and he coming in. What's up, y'all? Hey, <laughs> what's up? What's up? So. What you're smelling is olibanum, cardamom, black pepper. It has oud in it, and it has ambergris. I am um, not getting any olibanum because I know what olibanum smells like. That's frankincense. That is no, I'm not getting none of that. Give me them notes again. Sure, it's olibanum, cardamom, black pepper, oud, and ambergris. I ain't getting none of that. I know oud. Yes. I know black pepper. I know. Cardamom. I know what it smells like. No, I smell your uncle who's coming to the party. Mm -mm. It's Al Dukan. This mm -hmm. one, the second I smelled it, amazing. Now, I will say it's getting better. It's but it's kind of soapy to me. It has a soapy vibe to me. So yes, well, I mean, <laughs> um, with this fragrance, this one I get such a I get like those big compliments it's like hold on what are you wearing what is that I want to get this for my man or bro what are you wearing that smells good as hell like where do you get that from that these are the types of these are the types of things that I get from people Jerry so, you get that from everything I, tell, you tell it to us that's the type of compliments you get from everything so what's the difference I mean, it's it's how you wear your fragrance. If no, you wear I'm your just fragrance saying, with a negro. You know, I'm about to say negro. Negro. Yeah. Good. I'm glad you stopped yourself. <laughs> no, and this on me would be terrible. No. Wow. It doesn't smell good on me. Now I'm. Okay. It, hey. That's okay. And that's this is this is a man's scent, a hundred percent. I don't think it's unisex by no means. It is no, not very, at all. It is very, very manly. No, it's very manly. No, and now yeah. that I will give you, it is very masculine leaning. Yeah, I would I, I, on a woman. Mm, you would sound, you would smell like you were hugged by somebody, and you were wearing their fragrance. They looking and lying. They not looking and lying. But this is like kind of that. See, this is not what I find sexy. Okay. Um, I like mine a little deeper, a little heavier and things, a little sweeter. Mm -hmm. and this is kind of excuse my grandson. He is That's mad right. bec because he cannot come down here because he wants <laughs> to come downstairs. Because he was already down here and he think he going to hang. <laughs> they trying to catch me. <laughs> You know what? This fragrance really shines. This really, really shines on like a cool night. So if there's a breeze and it's kind of like cool, what I'm when I when I say cool, because you know how it gets cooler here anyway. So anything mm -hmm. after about about seven, seven o'clock, eight o'clock is is almost cold. So um anything with like a if you're getting like a cool breeze and you're wearing this fragrance. For me, I, I bring out the sweetness and fragrances. So on my skin, this smells very sweet. I'm just telling you what it smells like on my skin. You see why? Because you sweet like that, Jerry. That's why. No, it just, like I'm that. telling you, it has, it has this musky sweetness to it. Now. That, that, that just, shot, it's pushing off of my skin. That's what I'm getting. I just sprayed it on me. I'm telling so you. What, what I'm going to say is this. Once again, 
Mm-hmm. It smells like what I said because you're going to be that uncle when you 20 years from now. That's going to be your ass. You're going to be that uncle. What's up, y'all? Coming in smelling like this. <laughs> you so right. So, this is what I'm saying. So, it smells like what you're going to smell like 20 years from now. When you're gonna be coming into the barbecue with your little with your outfit on, with your sweat, with your hoochie daddy's on, smelling like it's like, sandals. hey mamas, what's happening? <laughs> with the hoochie daddies and the sandals and the rings and the in the in the uh taco meat out. The taco meat out and everything. All of it. <laughs> All right, okay. Let me smell your next funky fragrance. I mean uh good fragrance. <sighs> I'm going to go with number four. I hope it stinks. (laughs) (laughs) I hope it stinks, y'all. I hope it stinks. Oh, you got lucky. You picked. I knew you was going to like this one. (laughs) Stupid (laughs) rose. It's almost like a (laughs) rose. Lucky. It's not a rose. Hold on. Mm-hmm. It's it has rose in it. Mm-hmm. Don't have no rose. Nope. I'm nope. crying like your grandson because I think you're wrong. <laughs> you don't got mm-hmm. no rose in it. Not a bit of rose. Why does it smell like rose on the paper? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, man. I can't tell you why. What's what's in this? What's in this? This is carbon absolute. <laughs> so this is a Francis Kirk John. It's oh. very cheap, very inexpensive, but it has citrus on it. So it has mandarin. It has green mandarin, yalan yalan, jasmine, tuberose, iris, patchouli, <laughs> sandalwood, and lavender. <laughs> <laughs> So, you know how many fragrances I bought from her? So you're getting that sweetness. That see, I knew you was gonna like that one because it's sweet on the top. It's got a yeah. sweet citrusy vibe. I knew. Car- Don't say poor Kari. Ain't nothing wrong with that boy. He just want to <laughs> get his way. That's right. So so okay. So you would smell this on a woman and would be like, "You smell good." Yep, because I thought it was rose. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> He just can't no. give it to me. He just can't give it to me, y'all. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. You just can't give it to me. Nice. <laughs> All right, you can have it, whatever. Okay. Uh, and that's a really thing. inexpensive one. No. Yeah, that's why I said that five dollar fragrance. Look at you and your feelings, man. I feel the feelings coming out on you. I feel it, man. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. Whatever. (laughs) Whatever. (laughs) Okay, so I got number two. Okay, number two. Come on, number two, baby. Come come in for me. If you don't like this, something's wrong with your nose. I can see it. You going to do it anyways. No, actually I do like this one. It is it smells like a uh, candy. Okay. Right, exactly. If it ain't got at least two zeros in the price tag, it ain't scary. <laughs> My $5 fragrance smell damn good though. <laughs> that just go to show you it's five dollars. You ain't got to spend you ain't I ain't gotta spend four hundred and ninety-five dollars to smell good. Ah! You're right, you're right. No, but this smells good. Trust me, I don't I don't like to. <laughs> no, this smells good. It smells like candy. It's kind of candy-ish, kind of sweet. And okay. I think this would be good on a man because I don't know necessarily I'd have to smell it on a man though, but I do like it. Okay. Kind of kind of got a citrus. As it's drying down, I get a little lemony vibe to it, to like orangey lemony, but it smells like candy to me. Okay, what okay. is it? It is Meisenser's Sweet Praline. Which one? Meisenser. 
Oh, sweet praline. Okay. Yep. So well, our lag is serious. They're saying we're lagging. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> Fantasy from Britney Spears. <laughs> That was good. That was good. <laughs> no, now you, know, this... Brent, now you know he ain't got that in his house. His, if his wife brought that in, he would like throw it away. Get I this would. out of my house. This is not good enough to be in our household. This is You're not right. part of our household. I would throw it out complete, like in the streets. <laughs> um. So this one has the the top notes are raspberry and hedion. And then it has jasmine, sandbag in the middle, and incense, and then benzoin and broxen and, and papyrus. Um, this one really, really shines on my skin. Um, I like layering it a lot, but by itself, it smells really. Why you? Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, you're not talking about me. Forget you. <laughs> Forget you. Let's go to your next funky fragrance. <laughs> I'm just saying, it, but it smelled good. Dang, now you're still in your feelings. I said the damn thing smell good. I'm still in your feelings. Go on, go on, go on. Go on, do it. You talking about me. <laughs> uh, what do I have that I need to smell over here? Did I, did I do three? I don't think I did three. No, you didn't so do three. Do I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do three. Please smell bad. Please smell bad. Please smell bad. Please smell bad. I mean, uh, yeah. Let me spray this. <clears throat> Put it all over here. Okay. <laughs> do I shouldn't have picked the first, <laughs> the first ones. All right, I give it to you. Besides the fact that it smells like a uh, Bantu perm, but it smells good. <laughs> it smells good. It, it smells like Bantu. <laughs> that is musicology sun goddess. It smells. It smells good in the air. If I smell it up really close, it does smell like perm. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all see this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is right here. Just <laughs> no, it's not. It's not bad. But I, am I getting? It does it have jasmine in it? Mm, I don't remember. I don't think it does. It has frangipani. I don't think it has. Oh, jasmine. that okay. There was another fragrance that had frangipani in it, and. Of course, you know, I don't like floral fragrances, and that just turned me off completely. What do I know about perm? My mom was a beautician, so I used to perm people's hair all the time. Yes, it does have jasmine. Jasmine sound back in it. Okay. I thought so, but I was like, because mm -hmm. it's, it's like very, this is a very, very, very strong jasmine. Whatever it is, it's like really strong, but... I like, I love jasmine on women. I think jasmine is one of the sexiest uh, notes on a woman, 100%. But on a man, oh, it's starting to change too. This smells really good, actually. And once you get past that perm smell, like, it's, it's nice. Straight band too. Make sure you use your... Uh, Gotta use the shampoo. If you don't use the shampoo, it'll make your hair fall out. Just saying. <laughs> it's a musicology sun goddess, Courtney. Okay. All right, and your last one is number five. Number five. You probably gonna hate it, so. You know, just calm down. Let you could just, just calm down, man. Just calm. Y'all, y'all see the hate. Y'all see the hate. <laughs> This has, okay, <clears throat> it has like a burnt rubber smell to it. Okay. Yeah, it definitely has that burnt rubber smell. Okay. Like, like arm number five. Okay. Okay. I get that. For um, sure. So, and we're going to have to let it sit because um, 
Right. See, you 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 losing friends right now. You losing friends. <laughs> you losing. <laughs> You know, yes. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. You losing because because you mess you coming for our good shit. You know, baby cat. Okay, no, so no. after the the rubber goes away, mm -hmm. kind of smells like cookies, like cookie dough, kind of mm -hmm. cookie doughish to me. Okay, okay, Burr, all right, Burr. all um, right. So... I don't know. I don't know. I would have to smell this on a person. Off of okay. paper, I wouldn't be into it. So it's, it's, uh, it's, it's like, eh. but probably on skin, it probably would be better. Okay. Yeah, it, it really is. Honestly, I wore this three days ago. Really enjoyed it. It was a really nice wear. Um, this one is Jet Black Enigma. So again, from Michael Malol and Gent Sense. When I smelled this on me, it it reminded me of another fragrance that I have that kind of has like this irisy thing. Um, I forgot the name. I'm not gonna go find it because I can't find it because I like don't know where I put it because I reorganize my stuff like an idiot. But <laughs> um, this one has ginger, cardamom, cinnamon, and black pepper up top, and then it has. Saffron, vanilla, labdanum, and vetiver, and then cypriol, um, oud, patchouli, and tonka bean. So it's kind of like dark and mysterious, but it has this like sweet vibe to it. And I, I get what you're saying. Like, uh, I smelled it on paper too, and I got a weird burnt rubbery type of vibe. And I think that's, of course, the, the chemicals and everything trying to get together so <laughs> you said i lost it it's not it's technically is not it's not lost i just misplaced it i know what shelf it's on i just have to move a whole bunch of stuff to get to it that's what the problem is and i need better shelving so See, I, I think it's probably a mixture of that uh, vetiver because I'm not a huge vetiver fan. Okay, because um, it it tends to smell um, kind of sharp to me. Yes, you know, so it had, and I don't like the sharpness of vetiver, and probably, and then you add that, um, yeah, and then you put guaiac with it. So I think it's the vetiver that's making it smell like that to me, which would mm -hmm. be something that I'm not really into. Um, but it might smell better on skin, like on paper. Uh, no, no. Right. Best rubber note, Bagari Black. <laughs> I do like Bagari Black. And then get she said, get him. Uh, all right, come for my last one. You got my last one. What's I up, Vincent? You. How are you? I got your last one. I'm going to go with number nine. I'm just playing. <laughs> now, you know what I want you to try? What? Number six or seven. Go with one of those. Go with six or seven instead of nine? Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. Let's go with... Where's... Where is it? But I had it sitting on here. Six. Do you want me to do both? If you want to. Okay. Yo. Yo, I will wear this. <laughs> See, you do what you know what I like. You know what I like. No, I like this. I like this. This is good. I I I I kind of love it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I kind of love it because it has this like it almost has this like it's this strong. I don't know. I don't I don't even know what the heck I'm getting. Is this tuberose? Is this is this a mix of like tuberose? Is this a mix of of like iris? Is there what there's some what iris? There's some iris always. Man. This is Sex in the Sea by Francesca Bianchi. I need this. <laughs> mm. Like she said, gotcha. Gotcha. Mm. 
Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. Oh, hold on. Wait a minute. Hmm. This one is. Hey, cousin. Okay. This smells good. It smells like um it smells like baby food from like pears, like pear baby food. You know, I'm just messing with you. I'm playing. <laughs> I know because you know you want it. You about to go buy this. You know nope. nope, I refuse next, to buy time it. We see him. You only <laughs> refusing because you don't want to admit this and it's so damn good. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It has like this. Uh, what is the word? It's not waxy. So it has a waxy kind of tart, but it's kind of a little sweet on my skin. I get a little bit of iris. It's it's nice. Have you ever tried Francesca Bianchi? Um, a long time ago. And I said I was going to get something and I never got something. Well, I mean, like Iris, the powdery Iris is one of her, um, you know, that's part of her signature. She loves Iris. Uh, yeah. So it has civet in it, which is another thing. Cause so she likes a little animalic. Um, mm -hmm. um, but it, this one has coconut and pineapple in it and a little mimosa and immortelle. And this one is... This is actually one of her brighter ones. Her, she tends to be very, um, wow. very mysterious, very deep, dark and everything. But this is like one of her sweeter ones. Um, so, yeah, I love it. This For one. The summertime. Is, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I kind of want it. <laughs> I may be texting you later like, yo, what was that? <laughs> fragrance it, it is it's really like for some reason it's it's hitting my nose and it's just it's really good it's like wild but it's not again remember i was telling you before how i like um i like b9 b9 and queens seem kind of wild to me as well this one is really nice it's nice I knew that. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. If I could magically like send some other stuff all the over to you, I would. I'd be like, <laughs> smell this. No, I actually have some uh I have some really good stuff that um uh, that's being sent to me, which is nice. Um uh, so I'm actually going to start talking about that, but I may send you a sample of that. Let you see how that works out. If it smells good. Yeah. Go try number seven. Oh, oh, uh-oh. Y'all, she is. Uh, no, I'm ooh. just, you know, now this one, I just want to see your opinion on this one. I'm not sure okay. if you don't like this one, but I just want to see what you have to say about this. Okay. All right, y'all. It's the illustrious. <laughs> number seven. You know you're gonna wear number six tomorrow. What you talking about yeah. tonight? I'll take a shower and take all the rest of whatever I have on. <laughs> 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 all right. Hi, Jen. Mm. It has a, it's, it's smoky, it's sweet. It almost has like a, it smells like a woman in a club and she's been smoking but she's also wearing a sweet fragrance and it's really, it's really sexy. 
it's giving me imagery of she's she's sexy she has a beautiful dress on like you've been eyeballing her all night long as a man and you just really want to get her alone like this one mm. you should totally want- start off with this one in the first place lady so- stetson <laughs> <laughs> So let me tell you what that one is. And I just got this recently. And I told everybody the first time I smelled it, I said, this shit is sexy as hell, y'all. We all need it. This is Mancera's Jasmine Exclusive. Wow. And that is so damn sexy. Mm. This is so damn sexy. This is Jasmine Exclusive by Mancera. That damn thing is sexy as hell. That Jasmine is kicking. It's got spices in it. It's got a little oud and leather. Some sandalwood. I I think it's sexy for everybody though. I I would love to smell mm. it that on a man too. Hmm. Hmm. All right. So I'm getting a lot more jasmine. So on paper, this smells nice. So I'm I'm gonna have to have her try it. I think this is beautiful. Um, when I sprayed it on paper. On my hand, it's very, very jasmine heavy. I don't mind jasmine, but it's 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 punching me. It's like really, really strong jasmine. Oh, never mind. I got it. It came back to what the paper was. Yeah, this one is definitely uh I'll put this twenty dollar, I'll put this twenty dollar fragrance in my in my She's collection. Honey, she baby, that baby hot. I would definitely no. I know it's what one eighty minus whatever the discount would be. No, how for, about sixty something? I paid for that baby. You paid sixty something. Oh, all right. Well, that's okay. why I bought it, or maybe eighty. Yeah, I was gonna say that sounds about right because I was gonna say you typically whatever discount or wherever you get it from. This one is nice. I would, I would buy this. Oh no, I paid like seventy because I got a test about them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would buy this. This is this is and, really I, and the funny thing was I went back and forth with this one because I kept looking at the notes and I was like Mm-mm, I'm not sure but it was a good deal so I was like well you know I'll, I'll try because y'all know I'm a man Sarah Ho and yep. <laughs> I was like oh bitch you should have been bought this one you should have been bought this one yeah this is this is bad this is bad chick vibes would I pay retail uh would I pay retail for it? The way it smells, I'll be honest with you, Mark. Uh, can you pop Mark's question up? Thank you. Would I pay retail? I'll be honest. I probably would for this one. Because a lot of Manceras, you would definitely wait for them to... Uh, that's what she said. Yeah, Jasmine exclusive. Jasmine exclusive. Mm-hmm. I would probably usually wait until something goes on sale, but this one is really, really nice. Um, I like it. The smokiness, it's dark, it's seductive. Um, if if you put this in a different bottle other than Mancera and sold it for more, I guarantee you it would get the same amount of like people wanting it. So they could probably even sell this for, I would say, more than what they do. No, honestly, the oud is very well blended. It's not you barely, yeah. You don't you don't get that whole oud vibe. It's just it's very well blended. So no, it's not too much oud in it. It's smoky. It's it has a sweetness to it. It's not overly sweet. Mm-hmm. Um, like she said, it's very well blended. Um, the smoke is just captivating with the sweetness. Is is playing a role. So it's going back and forth. On my skin, I think it's it's really beautiful. I don't know if it's linear or not. Is this more of a linear? Actually, you know what this smells like? It has a little bit of the sweetness that's in it. It has a little bit of cavort from uh, from um, fragrance Dubois. So it has a little bit of that, and then it has like a smoke to it. That's what I'm getting on my skin. It's really nice. I like this one. Okay. All right. I'll give it to you. 
I give it to I you. I ended though. it like boom, boom, buddy. Okay. But y'all see what she did? She made me pick. She made me pick. So if she didn't make me pick, because I picked whatever that nasty one was before. <laughs> <laughs> which one did you say you which one was it? Um number what was it? It was some purple one. It was nasty. Oh, you talking about number eight? Num <laughs> yeah. Narcotic V. Narcotic V yeah. is my nice motto. Yeah, this one, the purple one. <laughs> nasty. I'm like, what kind of green? It smelled like somebody took some, some plants outside and poured some water on them and put them in the bottle and said, here, smell this. But in the end, Lou reigned. Whatever. Whatever. We're, so we're gonna have to have we're gonna have a part two. Oh yeah, most definitely. You know, we're gonna have to do some other, we're gonna have to do some other ones. <laughs> we're, gonna we're gonna have to get ready for we'll have to do our fall list. Yeah. Because you know, you we're gonna have to have a battle of the gourmands because I'm I'm, I'm, I'm I'm gonna get you. I, I know oh no, that uh, battle of gourmands. <laughs> I'm gonna beatbox you. <laughs> 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 Right, you, gonna get listed. you keep coming for nar narcotic v you're gonna lose a whole lot of subscribers keep messing <laughs> with us we legion. narcotic v is a very nice fragrance we I mean, are I legion think a, i think it's a beautiful fragrance you know i, I love narcotic v we are legion dude <laughs> we are legion <laughs> <laughs> i love it oh it's a great it's it's the best thing i've ever smelled in my life <laughs> Shall we talk about this before we go? Yeah, sure. Let's talk about it. Shout out to Mr. Vincent for sending us these. I put mine in a decanter, but I do have... Oh, I haven't uh, put mine in one yet. Okay, but I do have mine in the bottle, so I just decanted it. So Vincent made us the fragrance after... Um, See, thank you, thank you. And it's tuberose, it's so sexy on us. We smell good and sexy. That's why we All love right. D'Angelo. Okay. So this is the Angela fragrance based on the notes that we told um we talked about with with uh Vincent the last time we did our podcast. And so he sent us one. So go ahead, tell the truth. Let's tell the truth that God love. Do we like it? You know, because hey, it is the truth. We hear. Right. The truth shall, shall set you free, right? Right. It will set you free. All right. So I'm going to do it on paper. I've sprayed it on skin before, and I actually sprayed it on my wife as well. So I had to get that that woman's um, perspective, see what it smells like on a woman. Then I smelled it on myself. Okay. So let me tell you what I think while you're doing all that. All right. I love it. And the reason why is because it's heavy on the florals. So I get that tuberose and I am a tuberose lover. Now, it's not for everybody. And I'm not going to sit up here and say it is because it isn't. But it gives very classic, very vintagey vibes. Um, and as it dries down, you do get that citron and that spiciness. Mm -hmm. But the tuberose is kicking for me. I, and I have forgot that I do like, but you know, for me, that's how it works. It is, but I can see a lot of people not liking it. Like my girls will love it because we are tuberose lovers. Mm -hmm. On top, I get the, I get, it's very strong for me up top, but for me, the magic happens in the middle. So when I wait for about a good 15 to 20 minutes after spraying it, is when it shines for me because at, up top I get a lot of if I'm not mistaken I think I, I think I said ginger or something like that so there is a bit of a, a spiciness with the floral that I'm getting and the floral is so strong on my skin that it's a it's a, a slight bit off putting to me but my wife when I sprayed it on her it was very floral then all of a sudden, that citron note, it just hit and just started to really project 
I thought that was the sexiest point of the fragrance. And then it kept evolving. So I really like the fact that it evolved so well on her skin. On my skin, I got um, a very, very strong, like I said, it was very floral for a long time. And then I started to get into different notes that I could actually pick out and then how it smelled in the air versus me like putting it up to my nose. So now it actually does smell a little bit better. But again, when I put it up to my nose, it smells vegetal. It smells, um, but it also smells kind of spicy, um, but it also smells very floral. So I'm getting like all parts of the of the flower or the floral. Um, go ahead. Sorry. So she asked, is it powdery? No, it's not powdery. No. When I say vintage, I mean like like a a, a powerhouse floral, like the kind of you know like that deep old school floral. Um, not, not in a bad way, but like that. <clears throat> Creature features. There you go. <laughs> yes. Do we know the notes? Um, well, we can ask Vincent. Vincent, what are the notes, sir? Right. What were the notes again? But I, oof. but you know, it, it, I get, but as it sits on me, I keep the floral stay strong on me, but you know, cause tuberose is my thing. Um, that my hair is cut. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Hmm. Well, this one is just for us. We this one will never be released. This is just you know he was kind enough to send it to us for us to try out. Yes, thank you so much, Vincent. We really appreciate it. it I, I think it smells. I think it's yeah, and as it dry, yeah, on. and as it's drying down, it is changing on my skin because, mm -hmm. like I said, I I tried it the first time and then I didn't wear. It. I misplaced it. Let me say, shut mm -hmm. up, Courtney. I misplaced it for a hot minute. Plum, tuberose, citron, coconut, ginger. Okay, right. Yeah, yeah, I'm starting to get that coconut vibe off of it. Yeah, the the coconut and the citron just like punched for her. Um, I'm getting, on my skin, I get a lot of ginger and tuberose. Mm -hmm. Which if I could, if if like, if that was tuned down more for me, and I and I got more of the the other parts than I think, but I bet you I'm I'm gonna keep playing with this. I'm gonna keep wearing it throughout the throughout the summer. Um, really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Vincent. Um, yeah, this is it's still nice. You know, for me, I, it's a love because, but it's like my style. So yeah, me, you you love floral, like floral is your right. thing. Like that's why I went to the other one. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, here's the thing: I like every, a lot of every, uh, almost everything now. I, what? I like on me, of course, I would never wear a fougere. Mm -hmm. But like, I now like fresh ones. I like gourmands. I like a lot of stuff. But yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I think you know, floral is my love. I think I'm trying to because I know that's something that you talked about so much. Um, tuberose is definitely your thing. I'm not a hundred percent like in love with tuberose, the note, right? Stuff, so, oh, and I totally get that, you know, just like yeah. I am totally not in love with what was that, Tara? No, so we have our <laughs> Tara, no, so we got Tara, no, and Goomit, ah, and a hundred silent hell knows tobacco. Right, and a hundred silent hell knows. So and, and, and narcotic V. So you know. Right. And so you know it is what it is. Okay, we made it, Jerry. Now we didn't do it, we didn't do an hour, but we are much less than two hours. Right. That's good though. So we That's have done good. good today. Yes. All right, so that was it, man. So okay, now. Let's get our let's talk about our scheduling and how we're going to make sure we are coming up all the time. And I right. apologize, everybody, but you know, I had to finish my classes, so I finished everything, I turned in everything, and I passed everything. And I have a master's coming, I got a piece of paper someplace, 
right? You get a big clap for that. Whew, child, child, child. And somebody asked me, was I going to do something for it? I was like, I'm going to get a piece of paper. It ain't that serious. <laughs> You're not gonna you're not gonna buy anything special and or anything like that. Man, I'm broke. I ain't got no money spent right now. So I get that. So mm -mm, I, get that. I ain't buying nothing. I'm going to if I buy some, I'm buy some. I need to buy a few more plants. I want to buy some arugula because I'm I'm I got a little plant. I'm working on my garden. I'm trying to do my I'm I'm channeling my Helen right now. So I got you know I I can afford like twenty bucks worth of plants that's what i got enough for so i'm there gonna go, go buy me twenty dollars worth of plants that's it there you go and okay. you hey but wait a minute don't you have something we should be saying congratulations for the new job dude the new job hey yep 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 <laughs> i kind of figured that's what you're talking about but i was like wait what is she talking about well thank you i appreciate that congratulations on your new job Woo! make Thank that you. money get them stacks buy that fragrance yay 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 i know it's gonna be way more fragrances now <laughs> i know you go be... <laughs> right right okay right. so it was good me. so we will do this we'll, we'll put it stay tuned for the next since from the shy podcast That's with right. your perfume hoe and gourmand king <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, See y'all later. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night.